I decided to use one of my hauls for this next project. This was one of the paper packs that I purchased at Ross for $6.99. School starts back for me next week, so I went and bought some new school supplies. Couldn't find a binder that I liked, so I purchased this. Everything is always upside down. Plain white binder. So what I'm going to do is I can never leave anything plain. I'm starting with these three sheets of paper out of this paper pack and my pictures that I've printed for to a 4 by 6 page. And we're going to start with this and see where it takes it. First I'm going to start with this paper with the lines on it. I think I want my lines to go this way. I'm going to cut it down to an 8.5 by 11 sheet. Next, I'm going to take this piece of paper with the little birdies and the chicks on it because some of my pictures have the kids with the, the little chickies. Let's see, I've got another one. Chandler with his. And I know I had one of Kempy, but for some reason, yeah, there it is. And there's a lot of greens and a lot of these colors that's in this paper in these pictures. So now I'm going to take a trimmer and I'm going to trim this piece down. Okay, I cut this down to a two and a half by 11 to fit on there. I'm not liking the straight here, so I'm going to do something with that. I'm going to find a punch. We're going to punch that. Okay, I'm going to take, this is a new Martha Stewart punch that I purchased. I don't, I don't know the name of it, but I like this, the big scallops and the um, pattern that it has. So I'm going to cut this down, and then we're going to hear this to this page. Okay, I like that better. But I'm not so sure that I'm still liking the stripes. I'm going to take this piece of orange and see if I like it better. And I do. So I'm going to cut this down to 8.5 by 11. And then I'm going to use this as my mat. Okay, how I do my ribbon is I take my organza ribbon and I cut it just a little bit longer than the length of the page. In this case, the page is 11 inches. So I cut two pieces like that. And then I take my page... I turn it over. I'm going to take this one piece and I tape it down. Then I go to the other end and I take my other piece and I tape it there. And then I turn my page over. going to tie it right here in the middle. I'm not really good at bows, but and you can move it up, move it down, just wherever you start your center is, and I'm going to do it kind of in the center here. And I think I'm just, instead of a, instead of doing a bow, I'm just going to do a knot because my little boy's on this page too, and I don't want to make it too girly. And I don't care that that knot is not perfect. And then I'm just going to trim it. I'm going to take my mini glue dots. This are going out of the way. And I'm going to put one right up under here where the knot is. Pull that down. This is going to be simple. I know because it's just going to be in a notebook and that's kind of how I want it. I just want to dress my notebook up a little bit. But I'm going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals and put it on the back of these. This is how I'm going to... So this is what down. we've got so far. To go... Uh-uh. No, 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 man. And I think... I want to do something here and I want to do something here. I've got these little flower paper clips. I want to incorporate them somewhere. I know I said I didn't want this page too girly, but I don't think adding one or two of these here and there would be too bad. I got these Hobby Lobby a long time ago. See, it just adds a little something to it. Just a little something. Okay, what I decided to do was to stick with this paper pad that I purchased and use everything out of that. And that was uh, just a little thing I decided to do. 
I'm trying to challenge myself to use this um, everything out of this not everything out of this kit on this one page but all of the elements that I use on this page I want to use out of this kit because I have a bad habit of taking a few things out of a kit and just using that and not using anything else I think it's turning out really cute it's simple it's a simple page I think what I've decided to put down here is because this needs something down here as a sticker off of this kit and I, there's one on here okay. I think it's going to be perfect. It's not really a sticker to punch out, but let's see. And as I touch them, again, I wanted to tell you this kit came from Ross. $6.99 paper kit. Okay, I think I'm going to put that there. Okay, we're going to have to pop that, that because it's not standing up like I want it to. It's kind of blending in here. We're going to pop dot this. My kids are watching Hannah Montana, if you can hear it in the background. And I know I've seen this one, so if my saying is, if I've seen it, I know you've seen it. And I've seen this one more than once. Okay. Now I'm going to take a couple more pop dots and put on this because I want it to stand above. I want it to stand. I'm going to put three on there. I want it to stand out of the frame is what I'm trying to say. I'm not used to talking when I scrapbook to usually just doing it. Okay, I like that. Now see what else we can use here. That's through here. I think I'm gonna knot it in the back. So what I'm gonna do is take this, do my knot. And I'm going to tighten it from the back. So I'm going to pull my knot around the back side of this and knot it. So now, now I can cut this. And that way I won't cut it too short that it comes untied. But you won't be able to tell that there was a knot there. Now, we're going to go back to our minis glue dots. I'm going to pick us up another one. And we're going to stick it right under here. And now I'm going to hear my name down on it. And we're going to see what it looks like in the in the binder. Okay, two things. As I was putting this in the binder, these little parts of my bow here, or my knot, my tails, were getting caught. So I'm going to go ahead and glue dot those down. And one other thing that I found... I made this 8.5 by 11, but the front of my binder is bigger than 8.5 by 11. So, as you can see, it leaves a lot of space around that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually mat this with a piece of paper out of the stack, then we're going to put it in, and then we're going to see what it looks like. Okay, now my album is completed. Look, you can tell my daughter sits here. Homie G. She writes all over my desk, all over my calendar. She's so bad. Okay, and this is my altered three ring binder. Love it. And there's the spine in the back. Okay, I've got one more to make and I'm not gonna bore you with the video of the whole thing, but I will show you when I'm completed what it looks like. So, watch for that at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's my second notebook. To show you, right here you see a glittered scallop. I took my circle punch and a piece of paper and I just punched in it like this. And then I took it and laid it on the paper like this. And I took some zip dry and just traced around and filled in that area and then I put some glue on it and it made that scallop really quick. My name on it. And there we go. Ready for the new semester.